Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Becky. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're new, welcome here. Uh, so I just want to give a little reflection on Thanksgiving and what it means to me. Since tomorrow is Thanksgiving here in the U.S. Um, and I wanted to read to you from 1 Thessalonians 5, 18. And this is from the King James Version. And it says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. That is so true. So it brings me to what Thanksgiving means to me. It means a time to give thank, thanks, to be uh, grateful for what I have, for my blessings, for the people who are important in my life, those who have supported me through the supported me through the years, either with encouragement or um, with a listening ear, or, or however. I just appreciate everyone in my life who have been there for me, my friends, my family. And yeah, I'm outside of Starbucks. <laughs> so I'm looking around, see if anybody's looking at me like crazy lady with the phone. But it's raining, you guys. It's cold. It's like a freezing kind of rain. But the, that's what it means to me. It means just being grateful. And, and it's such a good holiday because a lot of people in the nation on the same day um, give thanks, either give thanks to God, appreciate the people around them, enjoy their families and their friends, and I think it's really great to do that. But it shouldn't be just on Thanksgiving Day, it should be every day, like it says right there in that verse, in everything give thanks. So uh, it could be in the good times when everything is going really well and we're happy um, to be thankful and appreciate everything and what we have and appreciate each and every day, but also when things are not going so well maybe when we're going through hardships and i have gone through hardships it could be health wise it could be the loss of a loved one and i know people who have, who have lost a loved one this season this holiday season or it could be financial hardships problem with uh, families or whatever it it is always a silver lining there's always something good to be thankful for and to appreciate it say and especially your belief in God, to trust in Him, put your trust in Him, put your, um, your, your uh, you know, um, just yourself in His hands and know that He everything works for, for good for those who, who love Him and uh, things do turn around and He sees us through even when we're going through the valley of shadow and death like Psalm 23 says, he wouldn't go through it by ourselves and we're going through terrible times. He's right there with us, going through them, giving us strength, helping us out when we cry out to Him. We, we have the confidence that He hears our cries and our pleas and that He is there to give us uh, th that help that we need. And always, He always finds someone to put in our lives who will be a blessing to us who will give us support, friendship, love, encouragement, or whatever else that we need. I call those people angels. They're like angels. And it could even be co-workers who are there, and all of a sudden you're like, wow, you know, who say, hey, come on, you can do this, or I'm with you, who are there to listen to us. So I think it's wonderful, and for that reason, we should be thankful every single day. So anyway, Enjoy your day tomorrow. Have fun. Enjoy your family. Cherish the moment and, and, and just be with them because, you know, we are here today. We don't know about tomorrow. Tomorrow, like to say, is not promised. And I wanted to end this with a funny thing that happened a couple of days ago. I, you know, I decorated my, the, the apartment, right? Pretty much just the living room and a little bit of the kitchen with the fall things and Thanksgiving. At the end of September, because I love fall. I think you, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I love the colors. Uh, I just, I just love fall. So I have my fall decorations, and but they've been out for two months. I was ready for Christmas decorations. So when I, I went and I put up my little Dollar Tree white Christmas tree, you know the little one, and I put it up. The lights, a little decorations, and it's the only Christmas decoration that I put up. I just wanted to enjoy it already. <laughs> My nephew saw me and he almost fell. He was like, how could you do that? You are skipping over this giving. It's not Christmas yet. Why, why are you doing that? You're skipping through a whole new holiday. You're forgetting about Thanksgiving. And I told him, hey, I'm not skipping over Thanksgiving. I still have the decorations up. It's just, I just want something for Christmas because I'm so ready to change my decoration. And it's not the end of the world. He looked at me really seriously and he goes, it is the end of the world. 
<laughs> you're skipping over Thanksgiving and pretty soon there won't be a Thanksgiving it's just gonna be all about money and people spending money and whatever <laughs> I'm just laughing he made me crack up so bad <laughs> he can be dramatic my you know the nephew of mine I thought he no <laughs> we're not skipping over Thanksgiving. over Thanksgiving hopefully it will not become just a money thing because I know people get so excited about Black Friday and they go shopping on Thanksgiving Day and now some stores are going to be open at 3 o'clock p.m. So I don't know, hopefully people will still be able to enjoy the dinner either with families or friends before they go out. But, uh, you know, it's happening. What can we do? But uh, it was so funny. I'm like, I'm not forgetting it. And let's not forget it. It's a beautiful holiday. And it should, you know, it's just a beautiful holiday to share with other people, to cherish the memory to have fun, to enjoy it, and to be thankful and appreciate those around you. And so with this, I want to end this by saying I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for being my lovely subscribers, for your lovely comments, for supporting my channel, and for those of you who have offered me your, your friendship. I so value your friendship. Thank you so much. I love you, ladies. And uh, you know who you are. Well, Wendy Mendy Boo, Crafty Mom 15, Sandra, and Beck from Beck's Corner. I appreciate you ladies so much. Thank you for your friendship. It means the world to me. I appreciate you and I love you too. So until next time, have a very blessed Thanksgiving and a blessed and wonderful, um, no, not Christmas, <laughs> not Christmas, uh, weekend. Thanks everybody. Bye. Oops, I'm covering the camera. Bye-bye.